with the phone in my hand, I'll show you how it's done. Boom, touch. Boom, touch. Oh, look up, watch out. That was the rock. And that's how it's done. How's it going everyone? Coach Javi here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Kiwith Stadium. It's uh, partly cloudy, slightly sunny, slightly sunny, partly cloudy, I don't know. But it's, uh, it's a nice day out and it's actually warmed up quite a bit. Me and Georgie came here earlier in the morning. We did a uh, champion grind photo shoot. But now we came back to do an individual training session because Coach Javi wanted to get some, some light work in. So Georgie's on vacation actually because the season's over. His body needs a little bit of a break. So he uh, decided to just come out. He's gonna, should be here in a few minutes. He's gonna come help me film the session, maybe pass some balls to me. But for the most part, I have my quick play replay stations right here, which are extremely useful when you want to do individual training sessions. And on top of that, I'm also going to use the uh, Blaze pod system, which you guys saw in one of my previous videos. And I'm gonna use these bad boys as well to help me. And it should be a fun session overall. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so Georgie Porgy's finally here. 10 minutes after the warm-up started. For the warm-up, always making sure we're just doing something with light movement, lots of touches. I'm using both of these walls and just trying to open up my body as I receive before I play the next pass. So just getting me into the habit of trying to receive opening up as opposed to just facing the way I received and I have to take an extra touch to turn around. So just little habits like that are gonna make you much more confident in the game. They're gonna make you feel like you have a lot more time on the ball when you do receive it. So nice and simple warm up on the boards, we move on. Before I explain this, make sure you guys go check out Champion Grind. Use my code Javi10 to get 10% off your order. Uh, this next one, I'm just putting the blaze pads two on each of the walls. I'm looking for the color blue, and whichever wall that is, I'm gonna hit it until it changes color. So I have it on delay for I think a second and a half. So every 1.5 seconds, it's gonna switch to a different one. So sometimes it'll switch to one on the same board, which means I'll stay there and I'll try to hit that board again. And other times it'll switch to the other board and then I'll try to hit that one. So let's see how I do. Here we go. Too fast, too fast. Coach Javi's not on that. Coach Javi's not on that level yet. We gotta take it down a step or two. <laughs> hey, it, it messed up on me. It moved. Uh -huh. So. 
it is pretty difficult. I thought this one was gonna be simple. When I created the exercise on the blaze pot up, I thought it was gonna be pretty simple, but huh, it's quite a bit difficult because you're expecting it to switch to the other board, but then it stays on the same board for twice or three times. And then by the time you switch, it's going in another direction. So it's fun. Georgie, rate my overall performance out of, uh, out of 10. I'll give you a solid. From a, nine, solid. To, from a nine to 10 rate my performance. I'll give you a solid 3.8. Oh, disappointing. All right, a little piece of advice for you guys when you guys doing your training sessions try to see if you guys can vary the distance of your passing so oftentimes when I do sessions I forget that in a game you're gonna be passing the ball at different distances right so you're not always gonna be passing it within a five yard space but when you get into a game sometimes it doesn't translate because all of the accurate passes you can make in training in five yards sometimes in training with a team you can't make a 10 or 15 or 20 yards so I like this exercise because I got one wall that's a little bit closer and one wall that's a little bit further away and all I'm doing is taking a uh, I don't know maybe three or four yard pass into more of like an eight to ten yard pass after that so just vary the distance of your passing. George. All right, so another tip is if you can get one of these, flip it over so that it gives you the ball in the air. Now we're receiving the ball from different heights as well because in a game, it's not always gonna come on the ground. Most of the time, in fact, it's gonna be bouncing. It's gonna be up in the air. You're gonna have to control it first. So. That's what we're working on here in this one. Two touches on there, trying to alternate feet every single time. If I accidentally take two touches with one foot, I'll take an extra touch so that I can get it with my left foot or my weak foot, and then I'll hit it up against the wall. And what I want to do is I want to bring it down completely before I hit this wall, because if I try to get it off the bounce, it's going to bobble, it's going to go back to the wall, and it's not going to come back the way I want it to, and I'm probably going to mess it up. So just like you would in a game, the next pass or the pass that you're trying to make to your teammate, you're trying to put it in a way that they don't have to waste their time to bring it down onto the ground or control it but instead it's already right at their foot they don't have to waste waste the time to bring it down so that's what we're doing trying to bring it down from the air trying to get it on the ground before i play it against the wall All right, last exercise, ladies and gentlemen, before Coach Javi's hamstring completely goes out. Uh, gonna pass it to the wall at an angle, so it's gonna pop back up in the air, and then I'm gonna hit it to the middle wall, and then if you guys can see the blaze pods lighting up there by the posts, whichever one's lighting up, that's the corner, or that's the side of the goal that I'm gonna aim for. So, Coach Javi is uh, not feeling the greatest as far as hamstrings go, so I'm not gonna be doing any shooting, I'm just gonna be using the goal, kind of like a backstop to pass the ball into the corner. So it's a passing exercise, not a shooting exercise. Coach Javi, uh, I just want to say uh, my hamstrings, my Speak back, up. my neck, my back, my hammy, everything hurts, you know. Thank you, George, for your contribution. Absolutely Bro. nothing. Boom. Oh, clips like that. Okay, okay. So hit the, hit the, hit the side one. Pops up. Okay, hit it. But hit him with some power, George. Yeah. You're a professional athlete. Okay, boom, boom. Down to the middle one. Good, and hit the blue. Where? Oh, he's too slow. This guy, they, this guy, he says, you're a professional. They pay you to do this, George. Listen. They pay you to do this. They're both blinking. Unbelievable. Did you see how slow that was? We're going to have to slow mo that. We might even have to, actually, we're going to have to speed it up. We're going to have to speed that one up. They're both blinking. Unbelievable. They pay this guy to do this. Unbelievable. Let me show you how it's really done, my friend. 
Oh my god, yeah, you're a cheater, you're a cheater. What? You look, you look before. It changes right. every three seconds, that's the whole point. Okay, 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 okay. It changes every three seconds. Yeah, but so you by can the time I hit it, nah. by the time I hit it, another one will light up. Look. Okay, okay. Look. Okay. Come on, George. Come on, man. Amateur hour over here. Cheaters, man. Cheaters. Oh, hit us the power, man. My back is broken. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my days. No, guys, guys. With the phone in my hand, I'll show you how it's done. Boom, touch. Boom, touch. Oh, looks up. Watch out. <laughs> and that's how it's done. All right, last exercise. All right, my friends, that's it. Session's done, nice and simple. Here's my advice. You don't need to make these sessions too complicated. It's all about your touches. It's all about your passing. It's all about your dribbling. Whatever technical component that you want to incorporate or use or work on, that's what we're doing in these sessions. But everything is extremely simple. And like I said, not very complicated at all. So you can never, ever, ever get tired of doing the basics, which is what Coach Ivy likes to do all the time. So uh, shout out to my boy, Georgie, for, uh, being the camera guy, George, you got anything? No, I'm just a simple guy. I'm just, I observe, you know. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Blaze Pod for sending me the uh, the Blaze Pods, which have been super useful in my last training sessions. And then shout out to Quick Play Sport for uh, sending me some of these rebounders. And they also sent me some other stuff, which I'll, uh, I'll incorporate in these videos in the future. But shout out to both of them. Yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, and adios, muchachos.